It's the Rockman, back at it again. Having totally blasted both of my last workouts with every pellet in the shotgun of weight selection, I have finally reached a workout where I'm able to stick with a weight. Not for this first set, <laughs> because I forgot to take the blacks off the bench press and put them on the squat bar. I was working bench press in between sets of squat. Uh, just recuperative bench press tens type stuff. And uh, yeah, I just misloaded the bar. But every one of these sets is supposed to be 150 kilograms. That's 331 pounds. I started lighter than I know I'm capable of because I do need to retrain my cardiovascular endurance, just up my conditioning level uh, so that I can handle more volume. Because if you've been watching this channel for a year or more, you know that my the bread and butter of the volume that drives my squat progress is fives and eights, alternating fives and eights. And I take that to a point when I really start to struggle with some technical breakdown. And then as a deload, I taper off of the volume and I start increasing the weights. Really typical type of programming and it's worked very well for me. So I'm hoping that I can make it work again. Long-term goal, I would like something close to six plates by the end of the year, but that will all depend on training consistency and how consistent I'm able to keep my training is dependent on factors that are outside my control. But the things that are inside um, the realm of what I can regulate with my programming, short-term goals in other words, uh, Reacclimating my body toward the wider stance, it's pretty clear <laughs> from the tenderness I had in that hamstring that was really startling after um, that last workout that I have some work to do in this stance. So this workout, I took things nice and slow. I didn't baby the eccentric totally, but I definitely want to be 100% in control of the weight at this percentage. There's no excuse to be letting momentum uh, carry me through any part of the movement. So I did my best uh, controlling the movement pattern that way. I wanna feel my glutes activate right out of the hole and that has a lot to do with things that I cue uh, by loading up different muscle groups on the eccentric depending on how I am tuning in my movement pattern on any particular day. The way that I move my hips in space can change. That affects knee travel and uh, what muscle is predominantly going to be in charge of the movement. It sounds complicated, but just really when you see it, everybody's doing it, whether they're conscious of it or not. So uh, <laughs> I guess I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about that stupid shit, but you guys gotta remember that this is a personal training log, and these are the kind of thoughts that run through my head after a workout, and it is the stuff that I uh, like to hear when I go back and watch the videos. I know it's kind of boring and sterile, but if you've made it this far, you kind of like boring shit. <laughs> and uh, so let me ask you, I've been thinking about uploading a video where I had a couple sets of five with 185 for the overhead press and uh, some upset or two of back that I recorded, but uh, mainly one of the guys I work with had a bench PR and I was just wondering if you would be interested to see a video like that or more of my overhead press work because I'm not really going to upload it. I don't upload any of my back work barely. Uh, just curious what you guys want to see. This, the squat work, is uh, always going to be a staple. It's basically why the channel exists. So let me know in the comments section. I hope you guys are training strong. And as always, thanks for watching.